Hi, John Baker here with you today. I've got a 503 with a B type gearbox here on the bench. It's in for some maintenance work. I noticed an awful smell from the gearbox. Uh, it smelled like burned oil. So I've uh, drained out the oil. The uh, oil was pretty gross looking. It's really, really thick. It's just like tar. And it looks like tar. Anyway, so let's take the cover off and then we get a good look and oh my, look at everything inside. It's just black. It looks like some old transmission out of a car with a million miles on it. The oil is just burned right onto the gears. This thing must have been smoking hot. Oh, it really, it really is reeking up the place now. So we can see here, everything is just coated with just burned oil. Oh, look at the goo in the bottom. Look at that. Wow. That, that's just like tar. It's all burned onto the gears here. It just, it just flakes right off. So why is it like that? Well, it could have way too much prop on and overloaded, somehow got that hot, or it could be as simple as it had the wrong gear oil in it. The correct oil for these gearboxes is actually, and here I'll do this in quotation marks, extreme pressure. 85W140 is the type of fluid that you should use in this. So how did this get like this? It should have had the oil changed at 10 hours when this gearbox was new, and then again at 100, and then again at 200. And of course it has a little over 300 hours on it now, so it's due for a change. So it should have been changed several times already according to the proper maintenance for it. Uh, perhaps it didn't have the right oil installed in it originally. Um, who knows what it was, but when I mentioned the extreme pressure 85W140 type of oil, the extreme pressure part is the fact that the gears are meshing together. There's a lot of load on them, and this is a lighter gearbox being a B box, and it has a three blade prop on it, so it's under quite a bit of load. So perhaps if it had had the right oil in it, maybe it wouldn't look like this. Perhaps it did have the right oil in it. It's been under a lot of load and it was just never changed. Anyway, this is the end result. So the moral of this one is keep looking in your books and the manuals and check out when the, your engine needs maintenance and gearbox uh, maintenance is marked in there. Just so you can see how it doesn't even want to come off the screwdriver here. Oh, it's finally going to drip off. So that's the tar like goo that's in the bottom here of the gear case. So look at this, isn't that amazing? So I would say this is just some kind of real inferior quality oil that was in this and uh, it just wouldn't take the extreme pressure that uh, it needed to. So as you can see, a total lack of maintenance is very expensive in the end. Uh, the gearbox was not worth repairing by the time it had bearings and gears, uh, you, you could buy a new one for less money than, than it would cost to repair it. However, now pretty much for no money can you buy a B-Box because to my knowledge they're all sold now. There's no more new ones. Rotax has stopped manufacturing them a long time ago. So this maintenance on our aircraft becomes more important all the time. It's not like, well, you know, it's worn out, I'll just buy a new one. What do you do when there is no new one? So maintenance becomes extremely important. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, thank you. Bye.